Thanks for tuning in to this updated video presentation. We're going to talk about the rain that's going to move in on Saturday and then we're going to talk about a change to a wet weather pattern for later next week. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist at the National Weather Service. All right, across the region here, this is the regional six-day precipitation total. So this includes the storm this weekend. You can see the heaviest precipitation is expected across the San Gabriel Mountains into the western San Bernardino Mountains, where we could see inch, inch and a half of water totals. We're also looking at some significant precipitation as shown here in the green shading between uh, Long Beach, Anaheim, up to Ontario where we could see between a half inch and an inch as shown in the green. It tapers off really rapidly as you go south, especially in the San Diego metro area, where we're not expecting really more than a quarter, most places less than a quarter, except for the northern county area as the green area shows. Some spill over into the deserts too, especially the high deserts. All right, here's a look at the precipitation totals more specifically for Southwest California. The period of rain is expected to develop Saturday morning with the heaviest rain Saturday evening and then tapering off Sunday morning. Take a look at this map for the specific totals expected in your area. It'll be a warm, mild system due to the subtropical tap, so we think snow levels will be primarily above 8,000 feet. Now the pattern does change next week as mentioned, and we're starting to see that in the seven day precipitation total. So this includes the storm Saturday and then also going into next week. And between the two storms, as we get into March 15th, we start seeing totals of around an inch or two, even in the Orange County Basin area, spilling into the San Bernardino Mountains. And then we start approaching an inch in western San Diego County. Again, this is only through March 15th. This seven-day outlook is updated daily. What is the weather pattern? Well, we have a weak disturbance, but a pretty good tap into an atmospheric river, as shown on the right, coming in Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. Uh, this will be a brief shot and rather fast moving, but as stated earlier, could bring some significant rainfall into the northern part of our areas from northern Orange County into the coastal slopes of San Bernardino Mountains. Now, after a break on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we look for the pattern to change really starting on Wednesday when the first a little bit of rain could start moving in. The atmospheric river development is a little bit different in this case. We're dealing with a much stronger storm, colder, more dynamic, so more energy. Maybe not as much moisture tapped in, but a lot more energy and slower moving. This sets up on Thursday and Friday of next week. So we're going to have to watch this pretty close because this could deliver a couple periods of significant and even heavy rain to Southern California during that time frame. All right, and the confidence as we look towards next week is pretty high. You can see across Southern California, very confident of above average rainfall, a very wet pattern uh, because of that pattern change and much cooler conditions. So actually seeing a continuation of some below normal temperatures across all of California. Do notice that the targeted area for the best chance of above normal rainfall or anything significant is Southern California. March can be a wet month. We've seen that in the early 90s. Uh, March can have some significant storms and it looks like there's a possibility of a pretty good storm system setting up late next week. All right, here's the latest table showing the weather threats and impacts that are expected. Now again, this weekend, Saturday through very early Sunday, we're expecting the bulk of the first storm. With rainfall, especially heaviest across Orange County and Western San Bernardino County. Now, uh, snow level is rather high, so we're not expecting much impact from that, maybe up at Onyx Peak. Most of the rain should end early Sunday morning as the storm quickly moves through. Now the second storm looks to be better organized, larger, slower moving. So this stronger system could bring more significant rainfall, a couple durations of significant rainfall, eventually lower snow levels as well. 
And the target period is Thursday through Saturday of next week, so March 15 through 17. So worth noting with that storm, more hazards due to uh, stronger winds, the heavier rain potential, and then again, potential for the snowfall and the higher terrain as that much colder storm moves inland. So basically two storms, um, they'll be quite different with the second one being stronger, colder, more wind and rain. Thanks for tuning in to the latest forecast from the National Weather Service. You can check them out at weather.gov San Diego or follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Take care. Be safe.